for tuning in. Today I am going to share with you the number one style tip I live and dress by. And what is that style tip? It is proportion and dressing proportionately. Think of it as the balancing act of dressing. And this is always what I keep in mind when I get ready. Now sometimes I go rogue and I wear something that's all over the place, but most of the time I'm always drawn to balancing out my outfits and dressing proportionately. Fundamentally, dressing proportionately means if you're wearing something bigger on top, then you want to wear something streamlined and fitted on bottom. And then vice versa. If you wear billowy pants or baggy pants, you want to wear something fitted on top. That's the basics, but you guys don't need me to show you examples of that. You get it. What I want to do today is share with you different ways that I experiment with proportion in my own life. This isn't technical, this is going to be fun, and I'm gonna show you outfits that I've worn to give you examples and hopefully inspirations. And you can see these outfits in pictures if you go follow me on Instagram, at Lindsay Albanies. Let's start with the trickiest and most trending pant of the season, the high-waisted cropped flare. Now, I'm wearing this oversized top with these pants, and it's cute, but it's not ultimately the most flattering. So to really nail this, you have to define the waist. So my go-to, is always a little front tuck. And if I wanna switch it up, I'll go for a side tuck because doing this defines the waist and breaks up the proportions so there's balance. The same goes with shoes. You can wear clunky shoes if that's your personal style, but for me, I really wanna stretch out my figure and stretch out my frame, so I always go for narrow or pointed shoes. This next look is an example of wearing two oversized pieces together. Now, typically when I wear an all over, oversized or shapeless look, I like to pair things that have an element of tailoring or structure to them because the clean lines of the tailoring add symmetry and shape. Now I love the masculinity of this look as is, but if I want to define my figure even more, I will pair a cropped, more fitted item on top. By pairing a shorter, more fitted piece on top, I'm breaking up the bulk and I'm also defining where my waist and my bust is. So overall, I've really balanced out this look to create a streamlined silhouette. And I've also achieved this proportionate look because I've styled it using different lengths, which leads me into my next tip. Playing with lengths is the easiest way to create a dynamic outfit, and you can also highlight your favorite assets. For me, I paired this trench over this shorter skirt because I like to show off my legs, and adding different layers draws the eye to different places, which in a sartorial way helps to define the figure and balance out your shape. And there you have it, another proportionate outfit. So there you have it. I gave you guys my number one style tip, the secret that I live and dress by, and I just shared it with you. I hope that this video inspired you. I also hope maybe, you know, you learned something. And if you wanna see these outfits and pictures, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Lindsay Albanese. And of course, always leave me comments. What videos do you wanna see next? I love to hear your digital voices, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, what is going on? <laughs>